At the beginning of my talk, let me first uh, set the record straight by clarifying that the dictionary meaning of the expression successful as defined by various dictionaries does not mean making loads of money. It simply means achieving anything which you wanted to or intended to achieve or attain. But in my today's talk, I will be sharing habits which would help you achieve success in your profession, job or work profile. If you will go to interview some successful entrepreneurs, professionals, artists or employees, they will tell you about 10 to 20 habits behind their success. While based on my research, I have identified five habits, which if followed diligently will definitely bring you closer to success, if not complete success. As I intend making my lectures and video talks in the range of five to six minutes, I will quickly get on with the fundamental part of my lecture. But before that, just a small request to subscribe to this channel and like the video if you really do, because that will encourage me to share my views and opinions all the more. The first habit which you must embrace is that rise with the sun. By this habit, what I mean is not literally rising with the sun, but getting up early in the day. A person who sleeps early and wakes up early will have a more successful life. There are hundreds of successful living examples of this habit. Famous and accomplished biologist Christoph Randler conducted a deep study on this habit. And you know what he concluded? He concluded that when it comes to business success, morning people have an edge and advantage over others. Morning people also anticipate problems and try to minimize them. They are proactive. A number of researchers have associated this quality trait or habit, whatever you may call it as, with improved job accomplishment, better career success and higher remuneration incomes and wages and salaries. The second habit to achieve or get closer to success is making notes on your priorities and tasks. Do not overload your mind and memory cords with remembering all the time what tasks and things you need to do over the day, over the course of the day, week, month or a year. Carry a small diary with a pen and pencil uh, for, for making notes. Do not rely on your mobile gadgets like phones and, and tablets. Because psychologically, anything written down on phones, etc. lacks commitment. Your notes should include what is your long-term and short-term objectives. What is that you, you, you need to attend to immediately? That is, if not attended immediately, could cause crisis. And what is that is urgent, but may not be requiring immediate attention. That is how you segregate priorities. If you start attending to the tasks, tasks and objectives in, in priority, you will see things changing and getting organized around you sooner. It's magical, believe me. Thirdly, you must do a lot of meaningful reading and watching of educational and informational videos to enhance your knowledge and intellect by gaining more and more insight into your area of work and industry. Knowledge is the biggest asset today. This is one trait which can make you stand out and outshine others. According to Plato, knowledge is the food of the soul. According to Kofi Annan, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Fourthly, expand your network. 
social and professional. Get to know more and more people on this earth around you. Any given opportunity should be taken to pick up conversation with relevant people. You are already knowledgeable. You have a lot of substance to talk about. Dr. Meg Jay, a well-known clinical psychologist and author says, listen carefully, it is the people we hardly know and not our closest friends who will improve our lives more dramatically. So you need to know more and more people, not, not just people who you have been knowing all through. Finally, in this race of success, do not get lost in monotony and boredom. Break the routine uh, on the weekends by pursuing your passion. It could be as creative as doing music or poetry uh, or, or painting or even as unimaginative or sterile as walking through the woods or a shopping mall. That's fifth habit and the final habit. This will constantly keep you rebooting for your next mission. Thank you.